What really happened on the slopes? filed a countersuit on Wednesday, February 20, after a doctor named Terry Sanderson accused the actress of crashing into him and causing a series of alleged injuries while skiing on a mountain in Deer Valley, Utah, in February 2016. According to the paperwork obtained by Us Weekly, the 46-year-old Oscar winner remembers what happened very clearly between her and Sanderson on the mountain. Paltrow was enjoying skiing with her family on vacation in Utah when plaintiff, who was uphill from Ms. Paltrow, plowed into her back, the court doc state. She sustained a full body blow. Ms. Paltrow was angry with plaintiff and said so. Plaintiff apologized. She was shaken and upset and quit skiing for the day, even though it was still morning. Sanderson, for his part, alleged in his January 29 filing that Paltrow was the one who crashed into him. Gwyneth Paltrow skied out of control and hit the back of Terry Sanderson, another skier, who was downhill knocking him down hard, knocking him out, and causing a brain injury, four broken ribs and other serious injuries, he alleged in paperwork previously obtained by us. Paltrow got up, turned and skied away, leaving Sanderson stunned, lying in the snow, seriously injured. Paltrow, however, claims that Sanderson, who was 69 at the time of the incident, had previously told his doctor about one year earlier that he was blind in his right eye and that his vision in his left eye was decreasing. After the accident, plaintiff's doctor conducted neuropsychological testing that did not demonstrate any deficits in his cognitive functioning, the paperwork filed by Paltrow reads. Plaintiff's friend, who was skiing with plaintiff, said that in his interactions with plaintiff since the collision, plaintiff acted the same mentally as before the collision. Paltrow is seeking a jury trial and a symbolic $1 in damages 